Hey everybody, so today I wanted to talk about dopamine. So, show my phone really quick. So as you can see, I completely have cleared all of my apps from my phone. So, the only ones that I still have are my messaging, Spotify, Audible, and my notes. And those are apps that I don't abuse. I don't really like messaging people, and I use the others for workflow or when I'm walking and the notes is just for jotting down ideas. So I found that when I had like Facebook, TikTok, and all of these things on my main screen, I was using them all of the time. And there's so many negatives to using your phone all of the time. But the main thing I wanted to talk about is like, I still use my phone. I still go watch YouTube videos, Facebook videos, and things like that. But the unconscious clicking of them that can lead to additional hours when you didn't even really want to. So what I found is that when I would get into my phone, I would instantly click and I wouldn't even really realize it. I would, but at the same time I wouldn't and I'd click into Facebook. And I finally just got sick of watching, playing games, doing all of this stuff on my phone. And so... I took them off the home screen and this, I always do this. It happens every few months, it cycles. And this time though, it was very obvious that as soon as I made that decision and got them off my screen, I still like at night and in the morning for a little bit will watch videos. But instead of throughout the day, whenever I get a little bit stressed out with some of the work I'm doing, instead of subconsciously just seeing it, clicking on Facebook and on my phone and starting to watch videos, it removes a step. So now if I want to get to Facebook, I could always go like this and swipe over, but then I would just get used to this. So instead I force myself to type it out and I'm sure that I'll go back to having apps on my main screen again, but for now I want to get out of the habit of doing that. And so, and then when I do move them to my home screen again, it won't be a habit anymore. And that's what I'm trying to break. I'm not trying to completely limit my screen time or anything like that. What I want to do is make sure that I'm getting on these apps consciously. And it's really easy when you know exactly where it's at and your dopamine response habitually just sends you there and clicks on it to get a quick, easy hit. It's just so easy to fall into that kind of addictive like pattern of watching content. And it's especially horrible when it's getting into things like work and things that you want to do, even hobbies. And to me, it's the worst too, even when you just want to relax and 30, 45 minutes later, you realize you've been watching videos and you didn't even want to watch videos. So though, that's the things that I'm trying to fix with that. And I have to say it has made a, a major difference just conscious, like subconsciously in my mind, I go to click where it used to be and it goes, oh, it's not there anymore. And I'm like, oh, I don't even want to do that. So it just, it makes it one step harder to do that. And a large part of this is it's just training your, it's has trained your dopamine response to get that easy dopamine. And so you can just go in, click on Facebook, watch these short videos and get all of this free dopamine. But that has so many negative effects like not feeling motivated to get work done and because you're getting all of this free dopamine, we don't want to work and get dopamine that actually means something. And I found that if I get all of this free dopamine, then I don't want to do other things and I don't get as much enjoyment out of them. But when I limit my time, I get so much benefit out of getting my work done, getting different tasks done. I get so much benefit and joy from finishing those things. I get my dopamine hit and it makes all the difference in the world. So I recommend it. It can be as easy as shifting all of your things around um, <clears throat> to make your brain just have to think like, oh, I have to do this to get into the app. So that's the easy hack. Another thing that I've done is when I realize like, oh, hey, I've been watching Facebook, YouTube for way too long. And I feel that like, I just don't have energy to get anything else done. Now I will go jump in the river or take a cold shower. And it seems to reset my dopamine re response and will then allow me to get things done. Now I try to not get there in the first place because it's not perfect. It's better just to not use it than cold plunge and do it. it doesn't have quite the same effect. And I've also noticed that like, okay, like 45 minutes to an hour, it's not that big of a deal. 
but if I get to like two hours of watching content throughout the day, then it noticeably affects my mental health. I have a lot more depression and just not, you know, kind of feeling numb. So I don't think that we should completely limit screen time, but I do think that we should consciously use our screen time and using little hacks like this will allow us to consciously use it and not have to feel guilty about it. <clears throat> and to me, that is all the difference in the world. So try this out. Let me know how it goes. Let me know what your hack is in the comments because I'm always looking for new simple ways to do it. It's really crazy how something so simple can completely reconfigure how much I'm using my phone. And now I'm gonna get used to this pattern and I'm gonna have to change it again, but I'm okay with that. And it's just consciously being aware of what we're doing and continuing to improve and make changes. So that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy content like this, please give me a like and a follow and we'll see you next time.